good day. My name's Jazz Coleman, I'm sitting here in Auckland. Um, and uh, next, next Friday I'm 56 years old and, and it's interesting for me because I started Killing Joke on the 26th of February 1978. Um, so it's kind of a time that uh, I spend reflecting on the years, you could say. And, and um, well, how fortunate I've been, I suppose. No, I, I, what I want to do is um, invite an audience and, and share with them some of the things that are really on my mind and uh, high up the list on, on this is um, our transhuman future. This is probably uh, going to take up quite a lot of my time and, and, and also to look at um, the emerging power structure that we're all waking up to, to actually look at it, stand back and look at this phenomena and so we can see which way it's going. I think a lot of people have got a lot of questions uh, and there's a lot of strange things happening. You know, I have to ask questions uh, looking back some 35 years ago when people were um, demonstrating about nuclear energy and nuclear weapons and we'd, we'd have 200,000 people in Trafalgar Square um, active and of course uh, while there is a, a superb turnout for uh, the last uh, big demonstration in Auckland you have to ask why it is that uh, so few people are, are engaging in um, active democracy call it, I guess. I've been back in, in New Zealand about um, about three months now uh, I'm not meant to be here I'm, I'm meant to be on an American tour but um, one of my one of my band got sick basically so I've been stuck out here and it's been a fantastic time uh, a very interesting time to be in New Zealand very interesting indeed because you see <coughs> New Zealanders over the next few weeks will be waking up to the fact that New Zealand as we know it no longer exists it's just a protectorate now and um, corporate forces uh, will rule this place uh, and uh, for everybody who loves clean green New Zealand it's um, you should be buying wreaths for this country because under the TPPA Stewart Island the Waikato Great Barrier Island everywhere is going to be dug up for the sake of mining companies and corporations and uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, and there's nothing we can do about it. There, there will be no legal recourse. People are waking up to the fact that the TPPA is not a trade agreement. It's a treaty. And they've all been duped. And, and part of me is sick, is laughing. Laughing my head off. Because, um, you know, they voted this government in whoever voted national voted this government in so when this country is desecrated and it's one big oil slick when it's been fracked to death <clears throat> I hope everybody who voted for Mr. Key remembers it and remembers what New Zealand used to be like because that that is the future you know we're going to be uh, get closer and closer to the United States of America and bear in mind that, that um, since the last world war America has initiated 28 wars you know, and, and not very successfully either. So we're going to be drawn into a lot of conflict. The idea of getting so close to America and the TPPA and excluding China was a huge mistake for, you, for this country because China is our, our second biggest trading partner. <clears throat> so I think it's a terrible mistake and um, I, I secretly pray that um, this this, this dreadful treaty will be rendered null and void at some point in the future once, once Kiwis wake up because the fact is the opposition party have, have not even seen the 35 chapters. The only people who have seen uh, all the chapters, the 35 chapters on the TPPA uh, would be Monsanto and Enron because 
these great corporations, they actually drafted the TPPA and uh, TTIP also. Um, TTIP, which is the same as the TTPA, um, would mean that the, the health system, the national health system of Great Britain will be um, something of the past. It, it just breaks my heart because my father, um, who is one of the things he thought was the greatest thing about Great Britain was, um, was the national health system, a country that looks after its people. And now we have this insane situation where um, the police force, the army, the people who work in the security services in this country will have to ask themselves the question, who am I serving? Am I protecting the people of New Zealand? Or, or am I protecting corporate interests? And of course, they all wake up to the fact that they're protecting corporate interests and that the people of New Zealand mean nothing, certainly nothing under this TPPA this contract um, with America that has uh, just walked over the average citizen of the respective countries. Uh, and, you know, all the countries that sign up to the TPPA, uh, if they show any form of protectionism or favouring, for example, New Zealand made goods, uh, they're going to be penalised for it. And so I would say to all New Zealanders, please, please, buy New Zealand food and New Zealand goods. This is the first thing we must do. But America seeks to homogenize everything. Everywhere you go in the world, you see the same effing shops everywhere. Everywhere, Dubai, London, it's the same chain. It's just so utterly boring. It has to go. Uh, you know, I, I pray to Mother Nature to, for a cataclysm to destroy this scum. Scum like uh, Ray Kurzweil who wants to release nanotechnology into the atmosphere. The scum in the U US military that's frying the ionosphere with the harp technology. This, this earthquake devices they have so they can tyrannize other nations, do what we say otherwise, you know, you're gonna get a mysterious tidal wave gonna come over your country and just do what we say. Stuff like Christchurch, you know? Let's get, you're gonna be seeing more of that. You know, the US military says by 2025 they'll have, um, well, they call it full spectrum dominance. That means um, control of the air uh, that we breathe, control of the food supply. It means everything. It's just sick. It's a cancer on the planet, you know. I believe every man and woman can be, once secure in their personal sovereignty, can become kings and queens. And that's, um, it's not just for elite, an elite for, for um, the banking community to, to rule the world. I don't believe this. I think an elite, by definition of itself, could never be a group of bankers. <laughs> um, so I believe in a meritocracy and self-education. Self-education is the key. You can, in, ten, in 10 years, you can learn any new skill to the level of a doctor, to the level of a PhD. 10 years is all you need. You can educate yourself. I did. Love is the law. This is my second time with cheese on toast and I always enjoy it. God bless independent media. It's the only thing left.